Welcome to the finals of Monday Night Starbo number 29. This is game one on Fighting Spirits. In the top left corner, your yellow Protoss player from Team Ever, it is Arthur. And up in the top right hand corner, playing as the Teal Terran, it is Dirty Bag. <clears throat> uh, I love PVT so much. I want to see I some like nice link game PVT. Disregarding mirror matchups, my favorite matchups are PVT, then TVZ, and then PVZ, I think. I think those are my I'd, favorites. I'd say, so, I'm not including a playing, because I don't... My favorite matchup to play, I guess, is like PVZ, but that's like not important. I guess my favorite <laughs> matchup to watch, by far, I like TVT a lot. Yeah. TVT is pretty cool. Because, I don't know, it's like a lot of really careful positioning, and... I don't know, it's just like, I like the slow grindy games a lot. At least watching yeah. them. I'd hate playing them, that'd be awful. Oh yeah, Moxie Legend. Showing the hype in the chat. <laughs> Chrisium says go the race that he likes. Hey. Oh, so, so here's a question for you, Vec. What's your least favorite matchup to watch? Oh, man. I, you know what? I just I really don't know. Maybe ZV. No, ZVZ is pretty exciting because we don't get to see it a lot. It might actually be PVZ, honestly. Um, like I think I might actually like watching the mirror matchups better than I like watching PVZ. Is that weird? No. I don't know. As soon as I asked the question, I tried to think about what my uh, least favorite matchup was, and I couldn't actually con conclude with an answer. Yeah, I I can't really. Like it, it shouldn't be that hard to rank them. I like PvP. I think PvP is my favorite mirror matchup because it's so friggin' oh, it's so silly. Swingy. Yeah, it's, it's it's I don't know. Reaver drops and weird shenanigans and Dark Templar rushes and a whole bunch of nonsense basically. So I really like that about PvP. It's kind of the opposite. Well, no, ZVZ and TVT are the opposites. <laughs> yeah, ZVZ and TVT are the opposites. Yeah. ZVZ does like a baiting that kills like 20 other coins and the other party is like, well, I lose. GG. Yeah. Yeah, PvP can be like can be like ZVZ, where you can like have the game really just kind of like end all of a sudden, or like both players go really low on econ. Um, but then if it like stabilizes, it can kind of go into like a mid or mid to late game sort of thing sometimes. But um, yeah, so I actually really like PvP. I don't know. I guess the, I guess the one thing I really want to see in the future is some sort of latent ZVZ, like Ultraist and Defilers and Guardians, just like duking it out. That'd be really cool. But I know it's never gonna happen. <laughs> right. Now, importantly, Arthur is hiding a Robo in the corner of his base. So, it looks like he is going to be going for Reaver Drops here in this game. As I said before, he does he did have some really nice Reaver Drop play in, in one of the PVTs I can remember. I also remember going for Carriers on two bases on launch in this once. Oh um, my god, Carriers. I think he was playing Kalevi now that I think about it, but I What's it might be wrong. I don't remember. It was in a Eurobo like a couple months back. So the Prism's on the way, Robotics Bay is on the way, Dirty Bag's got a good number of Marines. Uh, looks like he's actually going to be doing the fake double, and if he moves out at the same time the, the Reaver is coming over... That's going to be a big ball of awkward. Yeah, we might have these players kind of trading uh, a bunch of units, because Arthur will not have what's necessary to stop it. If he makes another Reaver immediately, he could have... Um, he could be able to take, take down everything. Now this barracks that's uh, floating over, we'll be able to see the prism coming a little bit earlier. Okay, but here comes the push here. Arthur knows that it's coming now. He might go ahead and leave the Reaver at home to defend against this push and then go drop with the Reaver. Because uh, a nice scarab shot going off and all these Marines will end this push immediately. Oh, uh, that's so true. And ooh, yeah, Dirty Bag is going for the command center next. So he's not going to have a whole lot back at home to defend against this. It's going to be vultures, it's going to be mines, all that good Most stuff. Most importantly, Arthur did see Dirtybag going for the expansion, so he's just currying out of the Reaver. He wants to end it. Yeah, he is going to go ahead and go with the drop. Now Dirtybag does see that coming with the barracks, though. Doesn't uh, pull his units, though. Uh, is going to stay at the front, and he's going to do the high ground advantage, but they can't hold. No, no way. No way. He's got to rely on this Reaver coming out. The Reaver is going to walk over real slow and clumsily, though. That's his only though. gateway. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not good at all, but here comes the Reaver. Dirty bag, will he respond in time? Okay, he pulls some of the SCVs. SCVs pulls a few of them to go after this. Oh, the tank comes out tank. just in time, but now the Zealots are on top of the tank. 
Meanwhile, and the I'm Reaver will take it out. Gonna shoot off and kill all of oh the no! And the tank is gonna follow suit. Ooh, and just like that, Arthur gonna throw down the Nexus. The Reaver is still alive, and the Zealots are still alive in the main of Dirty Bag. Uh, Dirty Bag only has the one factory. Oh, oh, my God. oh, oh no! Jeez. Oh, oh my god. Mm. All the I mean, almost all the SMGs. Dirty Bag GG's. And Arthur is gonna win game number one. Oh my god. Wow. That, uh, that ended quickly. Reaver drop! Good against a fake double. Oof. we will be going on to game number two. Arthur, it's a quick 1 0. I forgot how good Reavers are. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Reavers are awesome. All right.